You have issued several press statements, one regarding the Oplan Baklas, and recently you also issued another press statement where you said uh, in relation to the Oplan Baklas, if the COMELEC is to file complaints against private citizens who have tarpaulins inside property, you said na they will be judge, jury, and executioner. Pa- pakilino nga lahat siyang po, Attorney Mac. Well, una-una, yung, uh, we have been challenging itong mga ginagawa ng mga election officers na nagtatanggal ng mga tarpaulins o propaganda materials sa mga private uh, houses of uh, non-candidates. We are referring here to uh, non-candidates. Na sa aming uh, palagay, eh walang kapangyarihan ng Comelec na magtanggal ng nasabi mga posters. Kahit anong size niyan, kahit buong bahay niya, lagyan niya ng posters, eh hindi yan pwedeng pakailaman ng Comelec. Dahil sa yung batas na kanilang ipinagtutupad, the law which uh, they, plan, they are uh, implementing is Republic Act 9006. Ito ang Fair Election Act of 2001. Kahit na tingnan mo yung lahat ng provision na Republic Act 9006, walang nakalagay doon na yung batas na yon ay applicable sa non-candidates. In other words, it does not apply to non-candidates. It only applies to candidates and political parties. Yung mga election propaganda materials rules doon, para lamang sa candidates and political parties. And this was confirmed no less than by the Supreme Court in the 2015 case of uh, Diocese of Bacolod versus Comelec na sinabi mismo ng Supreme Court, yung mga election propaganda materials rules shall apply only to candidates and political parties and not to private individuals. Kaya nga, yung posters na malaking posters na inilagay ng Diocese of Bacolod sa kanilang uh, sa fasad uh, na kanilang simbahan sa Bacolod City, A, uh, it was held by the Supreme Court that it uh, it is a uh, it belongs to the so-called freedom of expression of the uh, diocese of Bacolod. Mm-hmm. Na hindi pa din pakialaman ng Comelec dahil sa it's a private property uh, posted by non-candidates and for which Republic Act 9006 does not apply. Kaya, okay. Uh, attorney, eh, nadinig ko nagsabi, I think it was uh, our friend James Jimenez, the Comelec spokesman, who said, well, if uh, anybody has problems, go to court. Now, uh, does this make sense? And why do you think uh, the Comelec would dare uh, do another Oplan Baklas knowing full well that the Supreme Court already declared that non-candidates are not within their jurisdiction? But well, I don't know why uh, Comelec insists ano, uh, that uh, they, uh, they have the power to remove uh, these uh, propaganda materials. Hindi pa lang bakit nag-i-insist sila. And uh, it's only Comelec who can answer that. Ang sinasabi lagi ng Comelec, they have the motu proprio power. Meaning motu proprio on their own. Ano, uh, uh, without consulting anybody, they can. Sabi nila, we have the motu proprio power. Inilagay nila yan sa kailang Resolution 10730, the implementing rules of 9006. Ang sabi nila, the Commission on Election may moto proprio dismantle, remove all these propaganda materials in prohibited places. Nung tinanong sila, bakit niyo tinatanggal yan? Wala namang kaming notice, wala kaming hearing. Ang sabi ng Comelec doon sa mga tao, ay we have moto proprio power. Here, the Comelec forgot that in 2015 also, The Supreme Court reminded them that while you may have moto proprio power, that authority could only be exercised by giving opportunity to the affected party the right to be heard. Kailangan mo nang bigyan mo ng pagkakataon ang sino mang affected party na marinig ang kanilang panig. Dito, walang ginawang ganyan ang Commission on Elections. Basta sinabi nila, karapatan namin yan. And... Uh, yung mga video na nag-viral noon, uh, very, very clear that they entered the premises and they uh, dismantled and removed the uh, propaganda materials without the consent of the owner. Ngayon, pinalalabas ng ako, malik, no, we got the consent of the owner, kaya nga nila kami pinapasok eh. Yung mga granting for the sake of argument na merong consent na binigay. The question is, did the Comelec inform these people of their rights that they could refuse them to enter their premises. 
binigyan ba ng pagkakato ng komalik na mapaliwanag sa kanila ang kanilang mga karapatan? Definitely, the video uh, shows na hindi binigyan ng uh, pagkakataon na ipaliwanag ng komalik sa mga taong ito ang karapatan nila na pwede silang tumanggi na tanggalin ang mga, pra, uh, mga election pra, propaganda na yon. Kaya kami, sinasabi nga namin, eh, okay, uh, sina, ang uh, banta ng komalik, pag hindi nyo tinanggal, ihahabla namin kayo. We are going to file the case against you. The danger here, Sito, is that the moment a case is filed, sino ngayon ang complainant? Ang complainant, COMELEC, through its law department. So sino ngayon ang mag-i-investigate? Sino ang prosecutor? It's the COMELEC. So in other words, the COMELEC will file the complaint. At the COMELEC, the COMELEC will investigate or be the prosecutor. At sino magiging judge? Komelek din, ano ha? So, di ko malek becomes the complainant, the prosecutor, and the judge rolled into one. Eh, saan pa kami pupunta? Saan pa pupunta yung mga tao yan, ano? And ako naman natutuwa ko sapagkat kahapon I was, I read that the Komelek is open to review and I think they are going to review this resolution of the Komelek. And I just look forward to a modification or clarification on this matter, and just to show that we are really serious in 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 instituting our complaint on this issue. I have already prepared a letter to the Comelec. Mama yang umag, mama yang mga ten o'clock. I'll be submitting a letter to the Comelec, pointing out our position paper on this issue with a request to the Comelec. Na in the meantime, na nire-review niyo ito. Baka naman pwede na temporarily suspended muna itong uh, implementation ng Republic Act 10730. At any rate, darating pa naman yung campaign period ng local uh, elective officials. So by the time na dumating yung uh, campaign period sa March 25, I hope we could have a uniform standard or policy on this uh, campaign posters issue. Oh!